And welcome everybody to the Daily Space Weather. We are looking at the sun here in 304 angstroms. We've got another Earth-directed coronal mass ejection on the way, one anticipated to strike today despite NOAA and NASA apparently not understanding this. Some sunspot groups moving into a setting region, also a coronal hole, we'll talk all about it. Here's a different wavelength from the Solar, Dyn Solar Dynamics Observatory, the SDO. It's 193 angstroms, ionized iron. And thanks for tuning in Twitch, YouTube, and BitChute. By the way, I'm your host, Dan, a.k.a. smash -O mash president and CEO of the Smash News Network, least busted name in news. Next thing we're doing here is we're looking at the view from Stereo A. So Stereo A is a super important spacecraft if you're wondering where it's located. Here's where it's located at Lagrangian point 5. So if you're looking from if you're looking at the sun from the perspective of Stereo A, Earth would be off to the right. And you can hear you can see once again here we saw an additional coronal mass ejection yesterday. Basically as we were making yesterday's show, we saw this coronal mass ejection propagate. So there you have the coronal mass ejection itself. And what's interesting about this one is that it's not showing up on the Lasco C2 nor the Lasco C3. So this is the moment that it ejected. And since we're not really seeing anything on the coronagraph here, it's an indication that it is all obscured behind the disk. So this obscurement disk here, here's the Lasco C3. It's a zoomed out version of the same thing. Now, the LASCO spacecraft are located at Lagrangian point one here, part of the Discover suite of instruments. And you can see a bit of a halo emerging here, an indication once again that there is another coronal mass ejection. We can expect this to arrive in about two and a half days. So we're also expecting one to arrive today, about midway through the day universal time. In a few hours, we're expecting to see a spike in the solar wind speed from uh, a fairly diffuse coronal mass ejection. And this one's pretty diffuse as well, folks. I don't want to be alarmist about it. This is likely to strike the geospace. It's likely to cause a mild geomagnetic storm, KP5 or 6. So let me just bring up Stereo A again. Now we're back at Lagrangian point 5. And I'll let this play through here. You can see also a coronal mass ejection on the far side of the sun over here by my pointer. And here's the one that propagated as we did yesterday's daily space weather video. Again, we're expecting the arrival of that in about two and a half days, two or three days, folks. And a geomagnetic storm of KP5 or KP6 from that. Not sure what who's asleep at the wheel at NOAA and NASA right now. But that's part of the reason why we have a channel, because we are able to not only forecast these things ahead of time, but hey, what can I say? Here we are. So there's the information. Take it or leave it. Cheers. And we'll have to say goodbye to Twitch. We'll see you later, Twitch, for the cosmology and meteorology segments.